So what if every minute you spent watching this video could earn you money? I know it sounds crazy, but it's actually true. And I've got a list of five side hustles that are super easy to start. They literally take less than one hour a day and they're surprisingly profitable. So stick around and let me show you exactly which ones I'm talking about so you can start boosting your income. And I know what you're thinking, but Laura, you said we could make so much money just from watching your video. How is that even possible? Or you're probably thinking, I knew it was too good to be true. Or maybe you're thinking this is a scam. <laughs> or that I'm only saying that to get views on my videos, right? Look, it does sound like one of those too good to be true deals. I understand. But here's the thing, the money isn't going to jump out of your screen into your wallet. I mean, I wish that was possible and that it worked that way, but we're not there yet. What I'm offering you right here is a roadmap to the side hustles that have the potential to add a lot of money to your personal income. So think of this video as a treasure map, I guess, because I'm going to show you where to dig, but you've got to pick up the shovel and do the work yourself. And now you're probably wondering, how can I possibly find extra time in my already packed day for a side hustle? Well, let me ask you this. Do you find time to brush your teeth every day? Well, I hope you do. <laughs> It's small, but it's an essential part of your routine, right? Well, just like brushing your teeth, starting a side hustle can begin with dedicating 30 minutes a day. It sounds really little, super minimal, but here's the magic, right? Consistent, intentional action, even in small doses, can compound over time. And it's not about carving out huge amounts of time to begin with. I know, in fact, a lot of people make this mistake and honestly, it's the worst thing you could do. It's about using those little pockets in your day intentionally, okay? So for example, instead of scrolling through social media or watching another Netflix episode, well, those 30 minutes can be dedicated towards something that can grow, right? Basically like watering your plant, something that can bring you extra income. And here's the best part. As you start seeing the fruits of your work, then you'll naturally feel more motivated to gradually increase the time that you dedicate to it. And you will do that and you won't be willing to skip it just like you don't skip brushing your teeth right? It'll become part of your day. So let's dive into these five side hustles because each of them can be kickstarted with just that small daily commitment, literally half an hour of focused intentional effort. Number one, this is a side hustle that can earn you between $30,000 and $70,000 per year. Ever caught yourself lost in the endless scroll of short snappy videos online? Well, that is the world of opportunity for you. And it's super entertaining and it's also a gold mine. This is where creativity meets the digital age. And it's just a matter of few seconds of really intentional content that can totally boost your success and your income. So for example, Zach King, you probably know him already. He began with super simple creative videos on Vine and now has millions of followers on TikTok and I think on Instagram as well. And he has this unique blend of magic and digital illusion that completely captivated everybody online. And his success shows how powerful micro content can become when you blend creativity with digital savviness. So obviously now you're thinking, okay, so what's in it for me? I know Zach or I've heard of him or maybe you haven't at all. Here's the thing, creators in this space, as I mentioned, make between $30,000 and $70,000 a year, sometimes even more. And it, essentially all that it is, is your ability to create content that clicks with your audience. So what is micro content creation? It's basically crafting those quick and engaging videos or images that tell a story in just a few seconds, up to a minute. And the kind of stuff that makes someone stop mid scroll and think, wow, I need to see this again. That is what you're looking for. So you can start out super simple, just with your smartphone and a little bit of creativity, and then you can evolve this as it starts building. And one thing that you do need to remember is that it's not just about making fun videos. It's about understanding your audience and trying to stay ahead of the trends and really always enhancing your skills, right? So take Zach King as an example and see how you can bring the same type of creativity to something that you already know how to do really well and how you can embed that into some micro content creation. 
Now, here's an important question for you for our example number two. Imagine that you're playing a crucial role in truly shaping the future of technology, but you're doing that from the comfort of your own home. I know this is a role where feedback and insights can make a huge difference and you don't really need to be a tech guru to get started, okay? So don't, don't panic if you're not there. So let's take an example that I came across recently. Sam. <laughs> Sam always had a keen interest in tech, but never thought of it more than as a hobby. Then he stumbled upon a gig related to testing new apps for developers. So using his eye for detail and his willingness to give feedback thoroughly, he became a go-to tester for lots of app developers. Sam's story is super unique, but it's actually a really great inspiration for anyone who wants to look for opportunities in some things that could seem really easy. So you might be wondering, what am I talking about and how much money can you actually make with something like this? Well, people like Sam are actually making anywhere between $50,000 and $100,000 per year, all by testing and providing feedback on new apps. So what exactly is this opportunity you're probably thinking? Well, it is mobile app testing. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, you heard that right. You can get paid to test out apps and help developers fine tune the software before it hits the market. And getting started is literally as simple as signing up for app testing platforms and having a keen eye for usability and functionality. So if you like doing that anyway, then think about this opportunity because it's really, really interesting how you can combine your, let's say, analytic skills and looking for ways to improve things and being able to provide constructive feedback. So if you enjoy doing that anyway, and you're keen to test new apps as they come out, and you're keen to see what works and what doesn't work, then look into this side hustle because it could be something that will make you a good amount of money in your spare time. Number three, this is another really, really interesting one. Have you ever listened to maybe an ad, a commercial, or um, an audiobook, and you thought, I could do that. I probably could do it better. Well, you might be onto something really big there. <laughs> okay, this is voiceover work that I want to talk about. And it is something that lots of people can do and can do really, really well. And it's not just for actors, if you're thinking that. Uh, it is literally a field that can welcome anyone that has a clear voice uh, and a little bit of flair. It does help if you have a unique voice as well. For example, um, I found this uh, guy called Dan, who's literally just a regular person, but he started doing voiceovers for small local ads and for YouTube videos, actually. Um, and he used that dedication and he built a network and then he became the go-to voice for lots of podcasts and e-learning courses for example. And you can see that you don't really have to have a lot of experience as a voiceover actor. You don't even need to be an actor as long as you have a voice that people enjoy listening to. And as I said, some uniqueness to it, like a special accent, or maybe you can speak like a certain celebrity. And people who do voiceover work can make between twenty dollars and $75,000 a year, obviously depending on how much time they want to dedicate to that and the type of gigs that they work on. So if you're thinking, okay, that sounds interesting, I want to do it, but I don't really know what voiceover work is about. Well, it's about using your voice for anything related to audiobooks, commercials, character voice animation, faceless YouTube videos, um, online courses, and anything that requires a human voice. But as I said, you can think of this as a great opportunity that only requires a microphone and a great voice. So bottom line is, if you have a voice that can bring scripts to life and tell stories and create emotions, if you understand how important it is to use the right tone and the right mood and the right intonation, um, if you can mimic different styles or different accents or different personalities, then you definitely can use your voice to earn an extra income. And you can do that by storytelling, by informing, by entertaining people, there's so many ways. Next one up our list is another really, really profitable one nowadays. Have you ever listened to a podcast and maybe you thought, hmm, I would have done it differently or I would have made that look better or sound better? Well, 
it shouldn't be just a passing thought because there is a way that you can make money with that. It's a skill that is in high demand as podcasts continue to really grow in popularity. And the best part here is that you don't really need a studio or expensive equipment to get started. All you need is a good year for audio and the willingness to learn, I guess. And here I have another example for you. It's a person called Liam and he really loved podcasts and started experimenting with editing software essentially for fun. And he offered to edit a few episodes for a small podcast to begin with. And he had such a talent for enhancing audio quality quickly that it got noticed and Liam's story it got featured and he became a really popular sound editor for podcasts. So you can also turn this passion into a really lucrative side hustle that Forbes estimates that you can make between $30,000 and $60,000 a year with. Okay, so there's really solid earning potential with something like this. Obviously, depending on the workload that you're willing to take and how much time you're willing to invest in something like this, as well as the type of projects that you get involved in. So now you're thinking, okay, so what if I want to become a podcast editor? What does that require? Well, it's basically about taking a lot of raw material and hiding uh, all the mistakes in a way that makes the material a lot more interesting. It's about balancing uh, clear audio with storytelling and it's about using sound effects and music to really enhance the experience of the listener. Okay, so it's a um, relatively more technical job, but it has a lot of creativity to it as well. So if you have a good year and the willingness to learn the uh, ropes of audio editing, I guess, then podcast editing could really be a great opportunity for you. Up next on our list, this is for those people who always get called by their friends to solve a tech problem or maybe to reinstall the operating system on someone's computer or maybe you help them set up their Wi-Fi or you troubleshoot computer issues. Imagine turning that skill of solving tech problems into a profitable side hassle. Really, you can do that and the best part is that you can do this right from your home in any amount of time that you want to dedicate on a daily basis. And here I have another example that I think is really inspiring and that is Ava. She was the go-to person in her circle for any tech-related queries and realizing that potential, she started offering remote tech support services. She helped people solve their computer issues over the phone via or via remote access. When she began uh, doing this as a favor to friends, very soon she realized that she could become or she could turn this into a full-fledged business and this is not just for Ava it is for anybody who is willing to monetize a skill that is in such high demand and if you're wondering okay what can I make? What's the earning potential of something like this? If I want to become a remote tech support specialist, how much can I make? Well, people like Ava have been able to make between thirty-five dollars and $70,000 a year, obviously, depending on how much time you're ready to invest in this. You remember at the beginning, we talked about only spending half an hour a day, but imagine how much you could make if you were ready to spend hours, maybe three, four, five hours a day, or maybe work during the weekends. That's also a possibility. And getting started, I mean, all you need is just a solid understanding of common tech issues and how to solve them. And if you want to work for a company, most of the time they will give you lots of documentation to leverage. So you don't even need to know a lot of that. You just need to follow the procedure. So if you have a passion for fixing problems, if you love technology and if you love helping people and giving them a good experience, then absolutely think about this one because you could be making a decent side income just by using your skills and your passions and you can turn that into lots of profit. All right, you guys, that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like this video if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and also share with a friend who might also be interested in getting started to work from home and maybe find a side hustle that can allow them to make some extra income. Until next time, I suggest you go ahead and watch this video over here and I'll see you soon. Bye!